Hello and welcome to Washington State Archives video on how to transfer email records using Archive This. When you first get set up with an Archive This account, we will provide you with the login credential and a link to Archive This application. You will want to bookmark this link for future transfer. Simply click the download button to install Archive This. If you are prompted to install the application, please go ahead and do so as this will ensure that you have the latest update. Enter your login credentials in the appropriate field. Archive This offers the option of remembering your password. However, please note the best practice for security purposes is to enter your credentials at the time you log in. Click the login button and this will take you to the data format screen. On the Choose Your Data Format screen, click the drop-down arrow, scroll down, and select either Outlook MSG Files or Personal Storage File PST. For this demonstration, we will select Outlook MSG Files. When it asks you if your records are from the holdings of the Washington State Archives, please select No and click the Next button on the bottom right corner of the screen. On the What Are You Sending Us screen, the record creator, the custodial partner, and the submitting partner will automatically be populated for you. Please click the Record Series drop-down menu to make sure that the correct series is selected. Please enter the start date and end date to reflect the date range of the records you are submitting. Uncheck the Records Are Orderable checkbox but leave Data is Archival checked. Click the Next button. On the Where is your Data screen, click the Browse button and identify the folder where the PST file, or in this example, the MSG files, are located. Archive This will create a temporary folder on your local drive during the transfer process. If you want to change the location of this folder for any reason, you may do so. The next screen, Preparing Your Data, will run a validation check on the records that you've selected. It checks for duplicate entries, missing metadata, and corrupt images. It may take several minutes for this validation to complete. Please be patient. Click the Next button. This returns you to the Select Your Data Format screen, where you have the option to prepare additional records or transfer the ones that you have queued. Select Click Here to transfer the data to us, and it will take you to the Transfer Data to Archive screen. Here you will see a list of all record series that you have prepared for transfer. Select the series that you wish to transfer, or you can click Select All. As long as your data is under 200 gigabytes in size, you can then click the Upload to Digital Archives button to transfer the records online. If the data is 200 gigabytes or larger, please contact Digital Archives so that we can ship you an external hard drive. For these larger transfer, you would select the Export to Hard Drive button and then ship the hard drive back to Digital Archives once the transfer is complete. All of the record series will be removed from the queue when the upload has completed. At this point, if you have no further records to transfer, you may close out of Archive This by clicking on the red X located at the top right corner. For each record series you upload, you will receive two email notifications. The first email is called the Incoming Data Validation Report. It lets you know that the digital archives have received your data, but has not yet processed the records. The second email, the ingested data report, lets you know that the records have been successfully preserved in the digital archive system and includes an attached document called the Archival Record Transfer Form. Your agency will need to retain both of these emails for the life of the agency as evidence of the transfer. This concludes this Washington State Archives tutorial.